I didn't want to sound too out of it, but I mean, so, there's a million people missing. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. All right, I'm ready to go. This has been one of those crazy days in the news business. I'm sorry I'm a little late. That's quite all right. You're here. Uh, this has been a, a rather amazing week. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. You're from Mississippi. I just can't believe what's happened. I, I, <laughs> yeah, what you said. I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just taken aback by what, what have you been feeling? What have been some of your emotions? Uh, I've pretty much run the gamut. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, hurricanes are, are a fact of life along the coast. Uh, the East Coast, uh, Florida uh, Peninsula, uh, the uh, South Coast of the United States up there in, in, in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, we don't think too much about it, but when they tell us this is going to be a precedent-setting hurricane that is going to be probably the strongest that we've ever seen. All right, so we know we brace for that. You, you get all the people as you can out of, a, out of a, a, a New Orleans, which is really prone to devastation. Uh, but uh, it, it's only after the fact that we're learning so much about the situation there. Uh, for instance, the, the, the efforts to shore up uh, the levee system. Uh, the water control system there that has not been dealt with. I mean, this yeah. it, you know, the question becomes, did this have to happen? You know, when you watch this last night, my wife was on the couch, and two different times during Dateline, she started crying. It's kind of hard not to. Yeah, well, gosh, um, you know, it's hard to really get your mind around what has actually happened to us. I agree. Um, looking at it from the safety of home is one thing, but to be day and night and day and night uh, with the realization that your whole life has been pretty much wiped out, that an entire city with all of its lives is to all intents and purposes, gone. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, I don't know how you could do that without being there. You know, uh, people are going to have to wrap their arms around these people, and I guess money is the best thing we can do, isn't it? The money is the best thing we can offer. Uh, uh, but, no, it's not, it's the best, but it's not all, because they can't stay there. Uh, yeah. There's nothing there for them. That we have to also open doors. Yeah. So. Oh gosh. It's going to be it's going to be something, you know. And, and for one thing, though, and, and this is a a really important thing, and we're going to, about this movie March of the Penguins. The other night, I would watch all this hurricane stuff, and I was really depressed, frankly. Mm. And I didn't really want to go to a movie, but I went to see your movie, and I felt better when I was through. And I think we do have to get have diversions because it's good for our health, if nothing else. It is good for our health. And, uh, you know, I, th I you know, not to um, be horn tooting here, but uh, this movie, uh, and particularly that we have this situation juxtaposed, uh, this movie tells us something about survival. Yes, it does. You know, so we will. We will prevail. We will survive. I know it's, it's, it's a hard day for all of us Southerners and really for all of America, but particularly people who have an emotional bond with the people of New Orleans. And I've grown up around Biloxi and Keesler Air Force Base. And yeah, all Slide L, like Pass Christian, Bay St. Louis. It's hard for me to imagine. Yeah, it's really, really hard. I was looking at the New York Times, those pictures of uh, um, places like Pass Christian where entire homes are just gone, apartment complexes, not there. Mm. Uh, it's like the tsunami hit. It is. I'm, you know, it makes you want to look and say, boy, I'm sure glad my family is safe, and, and I, I've got to do something for those families because they're not going to have a Thanksgiving and they're not going to have a Christmas. Don't want to think about it. Yeah, I know. All right, well, thank you, sir. Great man. I really, really was glad I got to have a, like an hour and a half or however long it was in there with you the other night. It was a, a good time. All right. Thank you very much, Jim. It's thank good you. to talk to you.